why we have the MacBook Air 15 in-house. And look guys, I have wanted a 15 inch MacBook, especially on the Air side, just because I think this is the perfect size for a lot of people, including myself when it comes to Apple laptops. Now, if you join us for the very first time, uh, this is Border Work and we do a lot of videos like this, especially when it ties to gaming because there's gonna be a lot of gaming in this video. So hit that subscribe button and the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. So at WWDC 2023, Apple announced the MacBook Air 15. Lovely looking device, comes in four different colors. Price starts at $12.99. Now, of course, this variant here has 16 gigabytes of RAM, but it starts at eight. 8, you know, 256 and you just kind of go up from there. You can stack it up whichever way you want on the Apple website. Starlight is a color I like because it definitely films better. And even though I did have the midnight from last year with the 13 inch MacBook uh, M2, you can see how it looks on screen. It's kind of hard to, to kind of record. Now, in terms of just real estate, this is the size difference you're looking at between the 13 inch and the 15 inch. You can see there's just so much more real estate and room, but in terms of design, it is very much the same device. If you're a fan of the 13, 13 is solid, M2 I think really works out well. Now, the 15 inch MacBook Air, very simple, design is understated, Apple logo on one end. Of course, you've got ports on the other, so you've got two USB Type-C ports, these are Thunderbolt 4 ports and then the MagSafe, which honestly I don't use. And I think it should go away because Type C, Thunderbolt, so fast, it's not needed. And then a headphone jack on the side. Now, I did wish that Apple would actually add extra ports, like maybe an extra USB, as well as also an SD card slot. I understand that's reserved for the Pro, but in terms of power performance, the M2 chip does a lot that I think you don't need to go to a Pro. So here is the device. Opening it up, the keyboard is nice and flush, very comfortable to type on. Um, I prefer the keyboard on the Pro, but again, it's still nice. That's just my preference. Trackpad is super smooth, and that display is lovely. It is vibrant, it is sharp, and that kind of adds into a lot of that gaming experience. And I talked about gaming, why? It's because Apple announced, first of all, Resident Evil Village uh, being able to uh, playable, of course, on your MacBook Air and all your MacBooks in general. And I got to try that out and I played a few other games, but there's more to that because they also announced quietly, you know, during the developer conference, a gaming toolkit, which will allow developers to port their games but that are x86 based, that are also use DirectX uh, and, can be, and can be playable right here. So you can play any of your Windows games on your Mac, and it looks like it runs really well already. A creator called Vin Lambo has a video out there, which you guys should go ahead and check, but uh, he showcases how you can actually port those games over, and it's a very long, rigorous process if you want to. And of course, uh, Dave2D showcased some games I actually played, which is pretty cool to see. I wish I had enough time to do this. I just found out this weekend, so, I will be trying that out in the future, but I wanted to see how well games played right now that are available on the Mac, but also how it sounded with the speakers. So I played Resident Evil Village, I played No Man's Sky, and I played Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And those three games are available right now on your Mac. So you don't have to do any of that. You can go ahead and uh, get Resident Evil Village off the MacBook store. You can also just download Steam and get No Man's Sky, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Fortnite is also playable. We saw that last year with the 13, which ran really, really well, almost 60 frames a second. But let's go ahead and see those games.
Almost there. Sorry, I didn't wait. Be careful. Didn't catch your eye? Just looking. You're English. <laughs> you should take a souvenir home. <laughs> Sorry, Juan. She already has too many souvenirs. <laughs> Okay, Jonah. How do you know everybody in town? Yeah, I talk to them. You should try. That was really impressive, especially where you look at what the M2 is and also this is running over, uh, this is basically running on your Mac where you can play Resident Evil Village. Uh, frame rates for that went from uh, roughly around 30 to 50 depending on the scene. Where it was seen is that there were less things involved, of course, within the uh, scene. Then it was higher, close to about 57. Lowest was around 33 frames per second. Now, with uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, that ran between 37, 33, uh, 34, all the way to about 57 frames per second. So you see, you see what you're getting here, uh, you know, with those games. And No Man's Sky ran a almost close to a solid 60 frames per second all the way through. So. Does that mean that gaming is here for the Mac? Well, it looks like it's Apple's getting serious. And a device like this at this price point, $12.99, we know what the M2 can do. We've seen the M2 in terms of editing. I love the fact that also, here's the key thing, gaming is done without any wires attached. So you're not being plugged in. You can have this on your laptop, game and play. I will say Resident Evil rant did run rather warm, made the MacBook M2 run really warm, uh, but it wasn't anything too crazy or anything like that. But the fact that you could do that without being plugged in is to me quite essential. Now also you heard uh, the speakers while they were gaming. We also heard just a quick sound sample test and it sounded really good. Those extra speakers here make it sound louder than the 13 inch MacBook Air. Uh, so that again is huge. I like what they've done. and I think a lot of people will like this laptop. To me, this is a game changer and I think, you know what, having a 15 inch MacBook Air is something that I can appreciate and I think others will. And now some of you are wondering, right, Thunder E, you are a PC guy. Yes, I am. And one of the reasons I have been using the MacBook Air to edit for almost a year now when I go on the road is because of battery life. And Apple states some ridiculous amount of battery life. I've been getting close to around 15 hours with the MacBook Air 15. So, I can take a trip, I can forget my charger, I can edit without being plugged in. That is something that I would love to see on a Windows device as a Windows user, that's just saying. So I gotta, I gotta call it out where it is. I think they've done a fantastic job and this device follows what they've done with the M2 Air uh, 13. So anyway guys, let me know what you think. Do you think that Apple is beginning that gaming revolution on the Mac, especially the fact that you don't have to be plugged in on a laptop to game? Let me know what you think. And if you want to pick up the MacBook Air 15, 13, whichever one, use the links down below. 
And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.